Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Ju from Happiness and Crafting. So today we have a fab video for you. Um, this is part of a collaboration. Um, it's called Junk Journal Tips, Tricks and Hacks 2023 and it's hosted by Rach and Bella Crafts. Now um, I've been lucky enough to be invited to um, join and we are halfway through now. It's, we are on the 13th of February. So I'm glad it's not Friday the 13th. Um, but we are halfway through. So I'm hoping you've seen everybody before. Um, if not, all the details of everything is going to be under the video. So you can pop back, have a look to see who you've missed. Um, and then see who's coming up as well. So that's going to be really, really excited. And there are some fantastic fantastic tips tricks and hacks so far so they are definitely worth going and taking a look so for mine i am going to be doing stencils stamps and stickers so i'm going to show you some easy way of doing some things um, with you know easy tips on how to make your own stencil stamps and stickers so let's get started so i'm going to take pop that to the side i've got some white under here so pop my hand there so it doesn't go blurry now the first thing we're going to start off with is some stencils now i have got a video out before years ago um, must be three years ago on making these stencils now i love them and they are so so simple to make um using i've got some lace here so please go and take a look and see what you can recycle first um, because there are so many things in your house and in your kitchen and places like that so we've got some lace look at this this is a little bit of trim on there um, i've actually popped these onto a piece of card i've just glued them together into a piece of card and then popped them onto one of these rings to keep them nice and safe so they're all in one place um, which i love um, I've got this, which is the stretchy which you have on oranges. Um, so that is lovely, and that does a really nice sort of like um, for if you've got a, like um, an ocean journal or mermaid journal that comes out lovely. Um, we have got a little bit of acetate on here. With I've got a little punch, which I've punched some little um, shapes in there. This one of the circles, can you see this one? I have used lots and lots. It's very, very grubby. Um, so this one is just from my Sizzix, my big fat red Sizzix machine, which I absolutely adore. I love it. This is just the circle ones, which I just popped in there. And that one I use loads and loads. We have a piece of card on here, which I've just popped a piece of packaging um, packing tape on there um, and I've just punched out some flowers on there the um, tape just gives makes the the card last a little bit longer um, so it do, if it doesn't get wet it will just sort of like wipe off um, we have another piece of netting on there which is great we have some more um, different punches we have some more lace on here um, some more acetate so these are just brilliant this one this is a piece of acetate and all i've done is gone around the edge of it with the deckled edge scissors scissors um you know you get the different different um blades on them so you can use those as well which are great um i've got a little heart there and again i've got some shapes on the edges of those so they are really really good and i've used those lots and lots now the ones that i've done lately are just from a piece of card which again i've just got some clear packing packing tape which is just this stuff here which is really cheap and inexpensive and i've gone through my die dies and um just die cut them out i've got a little flower so flowers are always really handy aren't they and i've got some patterns on here i've got a big flower like that i got a little birds on there so go through all your die machines all your die cuts um or your dies should i say and see which ones you could you know use as stencils um which i think are lovely and i love these they look really really good so if you put that down that's like a little row of birds let me just get my little dauber and if you just go through that like that i've got a little look isn't that just the cutest wouldn't that look nice on the top of a pocket or something like that in your journal i think they're lovely and then i know this is frayed burlap color 
one of my inks on there distress inks and look at that it's just lovely really really nice and you could even cut that out I've got this in a stamp which I'm going to show you in a minute as well so these are really really simple to do um, I also have some if you have any acetate you can use acetate as well so I've made a few in, in acetate um, or you can use um, food packaging as well the clear food packaging now these ones are really simple as well um, to make so this is just sort of like a leaf I'm going to show you in the same ink because it's it's nice and dark so that is just like a leaf and isn't that super I love it I've got a couple of different sizes in that now I haven't cut these out with a knife I've cut them out with scissors so I'm going to show you in a minute how simple it is to cut with scissors because I'm not very good with a knife I'm a bit too clumsy um, I always feel like I'm going to cut myself but look at that wouldn't that look nice just on um, your journal page just give you a really nice background I also have some little spots which you can't go wrong with can you look at these I just love them I think they are one of the best ones to decorate things with as well so I'm going to just show you how simple it is just to cut them out without using a knife now I did have a piece of acetate here somewhere but probably it's disappeared now because I won't be able to find it oh there we go I put it somewhere safe so this is just a piece of acetate like that you probably see it's sort of like that big I know it's not the best thing to use um, but I'm using some tiny tiny scissors now these are the, probably the only time that I ever use small scissors because I just really don't like they hurt my hands so what I'm going to do I'm going to take the acetate I'm going to fold it in half not quite in half but just fold it and then make a little slit in there all right and then you've got a hole to pop your scissors through and then what I'm going to do I'm just going to cut out you can cut out any shapes just chop it I'm just going to make sort of like a leaf shape just cut out you can just do any random shapes like that and again for packaging it is perfect so there we go I've got like a little sort of leafy shape on there and look at that so you can pop that pop it this way and you can make a lovely little flower and you know all the petals are going to be the same size like this let me just show you look at that you can make a lovely pattern even so how simple is that look at that isn't that lovely really really nice and if you're going to do it with cart with um, paper and the packaging tape remember to put the packaging tape on first before you cut it out um, but I just love these and you can have lots of different ones on one piece of acetate as well so let's just do it again just bend over and pop a little snip in there and that if you're good with knives um, then obviously use a knife but I I prefer to use scissors and then Look, you can just cut out little circles or whatever you like you can go this way but it is I just find it so so simple and if you wanted just a, like a little shape if you do art background pages or things like that um, they are really good so there we go look at that how simple is that love it absolutely love these and you can come up with all sorts of ideas <clears throat> but again go through all your dies that you've got or all your punches and things like that now I've got all sorts of these little Sizzix dies as well because that's a little teddy bear on there so these are really really old but they are brilliant I love them absolutely love them so this is some balloons on this one this is my big one for my very original very very first die cutting machine that I got so that is how you would make stencils so go through all your packaging and see what you can find see what fabrics you've got see what plastic packaging you've got and things like that so really really good so I'm going to pop those to one side now like that and we shall get on with showing you how to make some stamps 
Now I've had lots of fun. Look, I have made lots and lots of my own stamps here. So I'm going to show you this one. This is fabulous. I love that one. Now all as I am using is some sticky back foam on these and some recycled cardboard and that's it. That's all you need. And again, we can use our die cuts. So look, I've got a key. I've got that lovely flowery squirrely thing. I've got a little heart. Um, what else have I got? I've got this little bottle here, which comes in different pieces. Let me just put that to the side. Let's just pop that. So we've got the outside bit and the bottom. And then we've got like a little label top bit which is great so that is a die cut what else have we got I've got the Tim Holtz flowers which I cut out um, these are ones are just um, pieces that I've cut myself I've made some little roses that's the little flower these little Tim Holtz ones are fabulous but I think one of my favorites is this one this comes out really really lovely and it is so simple to make so I'm going to just show you how you can make all of these lovely lovely stamps this is just a piece of card with some foam on there again I've got a little tulip head what's this one that's another rose that's a little petal on there or a little leaf I've got a little heart so there we go guys these are just so simple to make so go through your dies again and use that or make your own and that's what we shall be doing i'm going to show you how if we just take a strip of this foam now this you can buy this foam in all sorts of places um, it's probably in the kids department of the craft shop as well so what i'm going to do to start with I'm just going to do a long one and I'm going to take this off I'm going to pop it onto a piece of the packaging piece of cardboard and then I'm going to cut around it like that so I don't need to cut that just cut those cut those little bits off like that and then I'm going to do get my glue gun and then I'm going to pop a little bit of glue on there and I'm going to do another layer on there so we're just going to stick that back on there like that just so it's at a nice a nice height cut that off and that's it for now okay so what I'm going to use you can use anything to make marks with I have got my little like little ball tool things this is a like a little sharp thing this is for like lino cutting and you can just make all sorts of marks in there um, but what I'm going to use are some of these now this is I got this in a package um, for um, polymer clay okay so these are what I'm just going to be using so you just make little can you see little marks in it like that just twist it round and again use anything that you've got that can make a mark you can draw on it with a pencil um, you can use one of these little little tools like that you can use anything that you've got your get your hands on so look I'm just making little circles in here like this just push these down like this around I'm going to take this, make some little lines in there like that, going either way, anything you can do on them, as long as you can make a mark in it and dent the foam, it will come out. I'm going to use this little one and make little holes in like that little holes around it so that's it that's all I'm going to do for that one pop that to the side now we're going to make a little handle for this so just chop another piece off I'm going to bend that in half bend these back like that 
turn that over, get my glue gun, put a bit of glue like that and then just stick that on just so that you can pick it up so it looks like that so we just need like a little handle so we can we've got it and we can pick it up so let's just take this ink and I'm going to just ink it up you can see where the ink is rub it over like that and then we'll pop that down and just stamp it look at that fantastic and I think it edges it would edge a page absolutely perfect so you can um, do all sorts of things on there but I think it's lovely so so simple if you just wanted something a little bit different on your page just going down the side of your page I think that looks fab and all it is is little circles and little marks with this so you can use anything that you've, you've got that you can make a mark with but I just think they are lovely and then again I'm going to show you as well what some of them look like this little flower that's just like a little die cut like that pop a little bit of ink on stick that down look isn't that lovely fabulous now what I do oh let me open this up again what I do want to show you let me just turn this over I want to show you this now this is one of my little um, rollers for doing my jelly prints and all as I did I covered it with a piece of this paper copy paper um, and stuck it down over the top of each other with a little bit of um, double-sided tape I didn't actually stick it to the to the roller I've done it so I can take it off um, and because my roller is just a little bit sticky because it's had paint on it um, the paper doesn't move around but try and get it as tight as you can and then I've just cut out little circles from the sticky foam and pop them on there and all I'm going to do is roll this over my ink pad like that Take this, I'm going to go this way, and then just roll that across your paper. Look at that. Oh, I just think that looks like little stepping stones, doesn't it? I think that would look fantastic in my um, Folks of the Forest journal. So look at that. Bring it that way. And you can have a whole piece with um, lots of little spots all over it. And I just think this is fantastic. I feel like going and buying some more of these little rollers because they are just the perfect size. Um, and then it just rolls across like that. I love it. I just think it is fab. So I'm really enjoying making all these stamps. So let's see what else can we do. I'll tell you another one which we can do which I would like to show you I've got a flower one here now all as I did this is the flower that I had and I didn't um, stamp out any more or I didn't on my uh, machine my Sizzix machine I didn't um, cut any more out and I put it away so what I did because I wanted some more I inked that, stamped it on the back of the foam pad and cut that out so you can cut them out however you like then so you can cut this around just I mean you don't have to have it exactly the same just cut it out so you've got your little five petals on there oops like that around because I do like flowers I think flowers are one of the nice ones aren't they for stamps so that's one I haven't cut that out fabulously but you know what I mean and then what I'm going to do I'm going to get one of these little round things that I used before pop it in the middle so it's like the middle of the flower like that and then I'm just going to get my little ball tool and just bring in these little bits so it's like the little leafy bits on there the petals I mean not the leaves like that 
so this goes around and then you can just do whatever design or anything you like on there let me just get this just do that like that get a little wall tool and just make a little oops dot like that okay let's stick this onto a piece of card stick that one there like this I want to chop these little bits off so you don't get ink or anything on them and there you go you have yourself another little flower which is perfect so you can have all different design flowers and stick that on there cut these bits off I'm going to leave it like that I won't put it back on it so let's just take that on there and then we can just stamp it look at that perfect and there's another way I would like to show you how to use these stamps as well um, because you don't obviously don't have to use the ink you can use paint you can use whatever you like I'm just using these because it's easy to to um, show you what to do but this one here I haven't put anything on this I think I've got a little bit of ink on there this one I've used play I've just kept playing because I've got my Versamark pen now I did have a Ver Versamark ink pad but do you think I can find it no can't find it anywhere so I'm going to show you another way of using these what did I do with my chalks to use some chalks here they are hiding now I'm going to use my the pebbles chalks here um, and I'm going to color if you've got a Versamark ink pad use that but I don't. I've got a Ver Versamark pen. And all I'm going to do, because this is sticky in here, it just it's just clear. So I'm just going to run this over the side here. So this is just the brush pen one that I'm using. Like that. I'm going to stamp it on here. Now, stamp it obviously wherever you would like it. You can't see anything. I'm going to take my chalks. Now this is if you want to have something a, a little less bold, if you know what I mean. So I'm going to take some chalk and I'm just going to dab that up over the top just to stick that down. Once you've dabbed it over, then you can brush it off. And look at that, how pretty does that look? So you can have your own stamps, <coughs> excuse me, and have them all beautiful colours and really pale colours just brush some of that off and I want to show you because I did that in here and look I did it with the butterflies as well and these are just faint so you could have a really really pretty background with that as well which I am loving and again you can have any colour you like so just run it over if you've only got a pen or if you've got like a clear um, ink pad, you can use that as well. But this first mark is a little bit, it sort of makes it sticky. So your ink, not your ink, your chalk sticks to it. And it's another way of using chalk. You can write with this as well. Um, let's see what colour has changed this. Shall we have a, a nice bluey flower? Let's pop that over just when you're using chalks in this way just pop it on so as it will just smudge too much make sure you've got that chalk on your thing there we go look at that just so so pretty isn't it love it and I'm loving those so you can do that with anything but um, try and keep the ones plain don't put ink on them because you're going to make your your first mark or your clear ink pad really grubby um, but I'm loving them so that's a really really pretty way of doing it I think 
so okay so that is how you make stamps and stick them on here which i love 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 and this one is the one we made really really simple um, and these lovely flowers i do like flowers so next thing i'm going to show you now i don't know how we're doing for time i think we are doing okay i'm going to show you how to make some stickers using our stencils and our stamps which is lovely let me put my hand there so it doesn't go blurry so these are some stickers i have made and these are using all of the things in here and our stencils pop that to the side so this is the leaf now this is on sticker paper so that is the leaf these are some of the lovely flowers that is one of the hearts this one here is one of the um, little stamps and what I've done here I've popped that and I've got one of my little Valentine's um, um, embellishments on there so I just think that looks really lovely so that can be stuck on an envelope on a card on a little present and then I've got my little hearts like that which I think would look lovely wouldn't they and these are all stickers can you imagine something like this on if you've got Valentine's I think it's Valentine's Day tomorrow you could pop that to seal the envelope couldn't you isn't that just gorgeous that's one done with um, the chalks this is one of the flowers and that's one of the leaves that I put behind it but I just think you could make your own stickers that's just a nice a funky one that I've gone round in, in black um, pen but you can just make your own lovely lovely stickers and look at this a star more flowers I do like the flowers can you tell I like the flowers look at these I just think they are lovely and then I've got stickers look at these I've made my own stickers so there's one here we've got a lovely heart one there flower one this one has got little flowers and these are the because I made some grass let's have a look where's the grass look at that see how simple that is to make some grass let me just show you what that came out like because this is so cool so you can put this on the bottom of one of your journal pages look at that and have little flowers coming up and that is really easy to do look here's a piece like that all as you do take your take a little bit off the end and then just cut little sections out like that just go down and cut out little sections like that and you've got your your grass so again you can have it as short or as long you can make some little toadstools to come out oh there's so many different things that you can do it's just your imagination and that's how you make the grass just cut out little sections like that and that's a lovely little one because we all love flowers don't we and we all love pretty pretty and that would look really nice in any journal i think just as a border on the bottom of your page so where were we so these are the stickers i've got some lovely heart ones there as well that i did and these are just some random ones here but what i want to do i want to show you how you can make these little stickers now i've got of course i've got these ones which we can all get from um, any shop really you can even buy these in the supermarket um, and i also have a sticker paper so this is my sticker paper um, so i'm going to show you on this one actually let me just put these to the side i'm going to show you how we can make some lovely stickers let's use some of these shall we now i've got we've got a nice key there where's my little heart one now i need to go through there's my star i'll show you how to make the star look we've got a little leaf one there as well we're just going to find some easy ones let's have a look well, we've got a little butterfly there as well we could do a butterfly too so let's show you now i'm going to take my ink my ink 
not my ink, my this one till it's there, isn't it? Let's take this. So just dot that on. Oops. Look at the mess I always make. Right, so let's stamp on a star. Let's have a couple of these. So these, you could just fill a page with these little stars, couldn't you? And then let's have a leaf, but we need the leaf in green. This is the only green I've got at the moment. So let's just pop that in there. Let's have a little leaf sticker. And how I did the flower, I got and put the leaves behind. I don't want to use that one. Where's my flower one gone? Let's have a look. I don't want to use that one because that one's the one with the Versa mark on it. Let's take this little one here. See, I've got so many. Oh no, I don't want green. I don't want a green flower, do I? Because we're going to have green leaves. Let's have a nice pink flower. There we go. Right. Pop that on. Let's do a nicer one. Pop that down like that. Okay, so that's your, your flower. And then we want to take a piece of paper. Let's just tear it a little bit off. And what we want to do is just cover up one of the little petals like that. And then take my little leaf one. There we go. And it looks like the, pet the, the um, leaf is coming from behind the flower. So just sort of mask it off like that. Turn it around this way. There we go. And just mask it off. So there we are. So that looks nice. Should we have another leaf? Should we just pop that there? So there we are. That's how you would mask it off. So you don't get leaves everywhere. And then what I'm going to do, take this. I've got really grubby fingers, so this paper is going to be really grubby. Like this. Cut them out. Then you have your own lovely, lovely stickers. Which I think is absolutely perfect because they are unique to you however you want to um, colour them or cut them out or design your little flowers so so perfect look at that and this one here right. like that got the leaves and then what I'm going to do I'm going to go over them with a Posca pen as well just to bring out a little bit of the detail but make sure you wash your hands before you um, start cutting out your stickers because you can end up with a big mess like me. So let's just pop these bits to the side. Look, we've got two lovely ones there. Let's cut out one of the stars and I'll show you how I did that. Just leave a little line around it. So it's almost like sort of a fussy cutting, isn't it? Like that. Cut that off. Fabulous. So we've got some little stars on there. Now I'm going to take my thin Posca pen and I'm just going to go round the outside of our little star. Like that. So that's a little star and then we can have the white just pop a little bit of highlight on there like that so then you've got a little star really really simple and then on the leaves on here we can just go like this with our white Posca pen or whatever you've got you can use not really coming out very well is it there we go, that's better. There we go, and then just go over it however you like. So wherever, if the, if the um, 
the stamp didn't come out 100% you can still go over it look at that I think that just looks so so lovely doesn't it I think that would look really nice on a little envelope or something like that now another thing let's show you how to make little individual stickers let's pop this to the side now I'm going to use my chalks again because I like chalks as a background and I think it looks really really nice let me just move some of my some of my things out of the way so much on here to show you and to do so where's my little my little thing so let's just get another one of these look and we're going to colour the sticker, these little sticker papers, with some, what should we use? Should we just use a little bit of pink? So this is sort of like, just sort of like softens it. Gives you a nice soft colour so your sticker isn't white. And again, you can do it on the, the big sticker paper as well, wherever I did that. This is the sticker paper too. So you can just add to this like this lots of different colors you can have a little bit of blue in there so you can have a nice little rainbow background let's pop a little bit of like this which i love blow it away so that looks really nice so we, what should we have should we have should we do it? Seeing it's um, Valentine's tomorrow, is that that one's too big, isn't it? I've got another heart here somewhere. There we are. Let's take this one. Let's take some abandoned coral, and we shall make a little heart sticker like that. look at that fabulous and again you can stick it on to here which has got the nice sort of rainbow background on there look pop that on there so let's just do this one so you can do lots and lots let me get my pen and all I did on this one make sure I just did little dot little lines around the heart like this so we've got some nice your own individual stickers which i just think look really really nice and then again we can go around the outside like this so this is sort of almost like little primitive ones isn't it which is really pretty there we go and then I'm going to take white Posca pen is this the one? this one? no, this one it's this one I want and then we'll just do a little highlight here just like that and it gives you a lovely little highlight on there and I think and then we can just pop some little spots or anything behind it whatever you like and i just think these are so simple and pretty oh my God. i've got a red posca pen so i can pop a few little red dots about as well and then we have a lovely little valentine's sticker which i think is really really pretty now the way, shall I just show you quickly how I did the grassy one? Shall we just have a go at that? I think we're all right for time for a minute. So I'm going to take the green. I'm going to pop it along the long, the length of this one like that. Look at that, that's lovely. But what I should have probably done first is just pop a little bit oops of sky so let's just leave that one to dry and i'll do another one down here so let's just pop a little bit of blue on here 
like that. Put a little bit on there. Take this again. Like that. Pop it on there. Look at that. I think that just looks so cute, doesn't it? You can still incorporate if you have any sort of like stamps of your own little tiny little ones you can have like little dragonfly or something coming across there um i've got a butterfly do you think that's going to be a bit too big might be a bit too big but i did have a diddy diddy one here look i wonder if i could just use one of them let's use where's the pen i'm gonna use this on here like this just on one of them pop that down like that get a little bit of chalk we don't want blue should we have a little purple butterfly just dab that on look and then we've got this lovely little butterfly let me just blow that off look at that how pretty is that that's so cute isn't it that will look nice on it on the front of a journal or in a journal or in a little bit of happy mail or something like that and then you've got little flowers that you could have coming up like that shall i use i've got green but this is a little bit too i think might just be a little bit too dark but you get the idea don't you and then we can have this little flower just like that let's just see if... while it's still wet you can just pull that in like that so you've got these lovely little flowers in there Oh, it's all imagination, isn't it? Let's pop a little bit of white on here. A little butterfly on here, like that. So pretty. Don't want to get green on my Posca pen, really. But you get the idea. Look at these lovely stickers that we can have. Fabulous, aren't they? Love these ones. I think that looks really really nice so there we go guys so stickers stamps um and stencils so we've had a lovely lovely play and again if you wanted to do something like this seeing it's valentine's let's i'll show you how we did how i did that i will just take another piece i'm just going to cut them off so we don't make too much mess get the chalks back out again lovely play see once you start you won't be able to stop playing because it took me ages well I was up here ages having a play making these I even started it doing it yesterday I all intentions of doing my video yesterday and it got so late because I was up here for so long um, but it was lovely so i'm just using orange red and yellow on here just the chalks like this now i do have the other soft pastels that i was using in the um the on sunday for my college journey but they didn't work as well on here this is better because it's sort of like more chalky if you know what i mean look at that see lovely little stickers and then oh i should have found my heart one really first shouldn't i oh there it is look little heart this is just a little die cut as well and all as i did i took the little heart and what i'm gonna do i think i think i just try and put one on each sticker like this because this one I sort of like went half over I'm going to just stick these down 
and then we've got a nice my granddaughter would love these so I might pop these into her little parcel which is going off in the morning so look at that isn't that lovely let's take our pen and then all as I did I went round them like this so obviously you can just do however you like but they go around like this and then I've taken my Posca pen which is here and then I've just done that little bit here oh gosh I've got green on that which is given that that little highlight so it sort of like makes your little heart look a little bit puffy doesn't it like that which I think so you don't have to you can have some without the black on it or with and then you just give them that little shiny highlight there which looks lovely so there we go guys some fabulous little stickers we have some fantastic little stamps we've made a nice mess here today oopsie daisy so I do like these ones these are the Tim Holtz ones so I need to start using them a bit better we've got some lovely stickers look at all these lovely stickers so please do give this a go have lots of fun um, even if you make your own stickers by getting the little sticker sheets like this and stamping on other stamps that you've got um, you can make them up and there's all sorts of things that you can do and it's very very inexpensive as well so we've got our stamps our stickers and our stencils here haven't we so there we go guys I hope you enjoyed that I certainly did um, so a big big thank you to um, Rachel and Bella for this fantastic collaboration with everybody so it is this one here which is junk journal tips tricks and hacks 2023 so all the details will be under the video um, so please please go take a look at the ones that you haven't seen before um, there's lots of new ones in here people in here the crafters and some lovely regulars as well so thank you so so much Rachel and Bella um, and there we go so there we go guys everything's under the video um, i hope you enjoyed um, today's video um, and so please have a go stay safe take care um, have a fantastic valentine's day if you celebrate valentine's day tomorrow um, lots of love and hugs to you all so stay safe take care and i will see you soon all right guys bye bye